Now, in this video, we are gonna be having a look at a common issue that many golfers have, getting that compression on their iron shots. Now, first of all, let's get our terminology right. We're not talking about compression of the golf ball, as in the ball morphing. We're talking about that feeling of pressing the golf ball with the golf club, about squeezing it out impact, about that fizzy, solid strike where that divot flies off and that ball is just flying down towards the target. Now, the explanation of this is fairly simple, although it might take a little bit more time to actually work this into your golf swing. Now, I'm not going to claim this is all my own work or explanation. Pete Cowan, world-renowned coach, actually talks this through very well. Golfers will generally swing into the ball in three different ways. There's a fair bit of variation in between but they'll either swing too steep, so they'll move the club over the top and off to the left-hand side if you're a right-hander, or they'll move in too shallow, so down behind the body and having to move the club massively out to the right-hand side. The third option, and the one that we really want, is to move in between those two planes and deliver the club on top of the ball. Moving the club down through the middle of these two options allows the trail elbow to move out in front of the body, allows you to keep the chest more on top of the ball at impact, and really squeeze it out there. If you come too steep on the ball, that could lead to a slice or a pull, but normally what would happen is that the body and the mind would sense how steep you're moving onto impact and try and back up and out of the shot. That will lead to a top shot, also leads to thins, and if you really bottom out early, it can lead to fats. All these do not allow that nice compression. If you move too much on the inside, to get that club back to the ball means you have to move it out with the hand, and that often leads to a fat or a thin shot, and again, more of a glancing blow. Now, I've done videos before on the right elbow position at the top of the swing and how we don't want it flaring away. This is very important if you wanna try and have a nice on-plane swing. I will leave a link to that video in full. But if you wanna get a feeling of what it's like to have an on-plane swing and have the ability to move the elbow out in front of the body and compress the ball, use this very simple guy. I have a six iron here, but you can use this with most of the irons in your bag. The shaft angle here is at about 45 degrees in relation to the ground. Now, as I move that club back, if as my wrists hinge, I can get the butt end of the club pretty much pointing back down at my target line, I can also set this shaft at about 45 degrees. From here, turning it up to the top, moving it back into that same position, and turning on top of the ball, all of a sudden becomes a lot easier. So to practice this, like I said, I've got a six iron here. You can use a higher lofted club if you want to. I'm gonna get set up, I'm gonna take the club away, and as my wrist hinge, Try and get them pointing down at the line of my target and my ball. I'm then going to try and get it back to that position, turn onto the ball, and compress it down into the turf. If I can get into that position, it means that I don't have to back up and out. It means that I don't have to sweep at the ball with the hands like this. It means I can just stay in this position and rotate through the ball. So this isn't about an impact drill. This isn't about like pushing those hands miles ahead or moving the body towards the target. This precedes it. This is getting you set up in a position before you even approach impact that is gonna allow you to get that compression feeling. If you're moving too shallow or too steep, by that point, it's already too late. And guys, if you're enjoying this video and it seems like something that you should get into your swing, you like this coaching style, please make sure you become a subscriber to this channel and help push us towards 100,000 subscribers.